Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. If you would like to join my channel, there is a link. Just click the join button for $2.99 per month and you can be a member of my channel. So I want to welcome some of our newest members. I do believe Her Geraldo or Gerardo gifted a bunch of memberships yesterday. So those memberships are going to be like 30 day memberships, I believe. So thank you so much, Gerardo, for um, gifting those memberships. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into this reading. I'm going to do a you versus them. See what the energies are. Okay. Separation, self-indulgence, and okay, you've got mirror all right so let's take a look so someone is very sad feeling sad missing you thinking about you yearning is unsure of the future self-indulgence focusing on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation okay so there's obviously some type of separation mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection okay so i mean yeah there's definitely some type of separation situation happening right now um somebody missing you two people perhaps not in communication or not opening up and being vulnerable expressing feelings that kind of thing but there is this energy of somebody really being unsure about a future they are thinking about you they are missing you but i feel like both people right now are focusing on self okay and with the mirroring each other you and your person are both kind of just yeah focusing on yourselves at this time so let's take a look and see what this person's energy your person's energy is towards you virgo at this time okay so they do have the sun so i feel like this person feels very positive about you um, you bring a lot of pleasure and joy to the relationship. They, you make them very happy. Um, you give them a sense of like all is well. Like they feel, um, they feel better when they're with you. Is how I f is like what's coming through. Um, and they're having this breakthrough at this time, like this mental clarity in regards to you and their relationship. Okay, so Leo and Gemini here. So I feel like this person is with their thoughts trying to manifest positive and positive outcome of how to overcome some obstacle that you and they may be experiencing if you guys are in separation right now. I feel like this person is doing a lot of like internal dialogue with themselves trying to figure out how can they make something happen how can they move forward what they can bring to the table to manifest something here with you uh, let's see they're giving me one nine one oh one one nine one oh one i'm picking up there's three there's a one 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 and then the number nine so maybe somebody's birthday is september 9th okay show me the sun as far as this person's feelings wow okay so they're this person is like very they feel very positive about um coming together with you virgo like they really want to have some kind of reunion or reconnection with you, especially being in separation at this time. And I do feel like they want to talk to you. They're thinking about you a lot here with the Ace of Swords, looking at the problems, the conflicts, trying to get some clarity about how to kind of like overcome some issues and start manifesting a new start, like a new beginning with you. I feel like this person has already taken a risk with you, Virgo. of some some kind some kind of a like a you know a leap of faith there was I, maybe there's a breakup or you guys are just yeah there's there's a bit of a disconnect but i feel like this person they have the world here a lot of major arcana is showing up here so this person is like 
get ready to start something new here with you. Leave the past in the past. Okay. I'm going to get some more clarifying cards showing the magician. And after this, I'm going to look at the outcome. I'm going to go over to the extended reading to take a look and see what the outcome for you and this person will be. Because right now, wow, another major arcana. This person truly wants some kind of new phase, new start. They want to reconcile with you for sure. I'm hearing, hoping that you will forgive them, perhaps. Um, this is Pluto energy. We have Saturn. So... This, this person is 100% coming to awakening or knowing what, they, what it is that they want to do and what they need to do. And the first thing is to give clarity and truth. They want to talk to you because they want to put the, some, something behind them to move into like this new uh, phase with you. I feel like a lot of this comes to this person on Thursday, the 21st. For sure like even right now the 20th and the 21st I feel like even as I'm making this video right now like the 20th this they are definitely in this like I know what I need to do I'm ready I want to do this okay show me the world okay Queen of Wands getting the courage the confidence and feeling very determined to start something with you here to kind of circle back and start over that's the energy now this you could be dealing with a fire sign um but even if no matter what this person's sign is it feels mostly like you know the queen of wands represents courage and going after what you want and i feel like this is them ready the courage and the confidence to go forward but i do feel like they want to talk to you they want to reconnect with you and they're going through this period now here of an awakening let's get another clarifying card for the judgment oh yeah ace of pentacles you guys so this is like whew, another manifestation card a new venture taking the opportunity or offering a, a brand new beginning here we've got two aces so you know as far as feelings go with this person just with the three of cups is here i mean i feel like that this person sees you as someone who um there's friendship here with this person there's like a really strong bond between you and your person here. They feel it. At least that's what they're feeling at this time. Let me get a couple of... Let's see if I can dive in a little more into their feelings for you. There we go. You might be hearing from them, like I said, before the end of March. Okay. Their life is not as together as it seems. So part of this person's contemplation has to do with getting themselves in a better position to be able to move forward with you. So whether that means like a more stable career, stable housing, um, a better like reliable vehicle, um, being a bit more consistent in their life, being able to provide or you know contribute to a relationship. Part of them not wanting to or not being able to be what you need has a lot to do with their life situation not being very stable for whatever reason. Okay, they have some regret for crossing some kind of line with you. And it may be that this person realizes here that the line that they crossed was promising more than they could deliver. And maybe that's why there's a separation. I feel like they wanted to, but they couldn't live up to what they were trying to, um, what they were delivering. Yeah, let me see. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, they couldn't like let you get close to them because of that. Um, I feel like this person maybe projected that um, they had a lot more together than they really did. That's the mirror. And you reflected back to them, perhaps, like they saw by their actions. Your response to that was something wasn't really what they were trying to project. So they're right now like taking a look at themselves and what they want and what they need to do. Um, and according to this separation, it doesn't feel like this person really wanted to let you go. It was really hard for them, but I feel like your person realized that they had to because they, could, they would have just kept disappointing you. But they still want to be with you. And so this period of separation is causing reflection that's why self-reflection that's why that mirror is there i don't feel like this person has forgotten about you at all okay i feel like they are actually even more so focused on you yes they're indulging and doing some inner work and just really taking stock and inventory of their life and thinking about how can they move forward with you in the way that you need them to and having the courage to actually live by their conviction. Yes, they do want to move forward with you. And like I said, I will go into the extended. The link will be in the description box below this video to see like how that's going to go. Let's take a look at you, Virgo. Show me Virgo's energy. Okay, Virgo. So... You're sitting here with the Six of Swords, which represents moving on, perhaps leaving some this person behind, um, releasing some baggage, whether that's like proverbial energetic baggage, or maybe you moved out, or you're moving out, or you're relocating, you're making some change, you're transitioning. From point A to point B, you're definitely trying to get in a more emotionally stable, non-chaotic energy at this time. Taking a look at yourself as well. You look to also be contemplating as well. You've disconnected. You are disconnected from this person. So you can maybe think, ponder. There's you queen of pentacles or you're dealing with an earth sign thinking about them thinking about what you want taking stock like you're being very practical yourself i don't it doesn't look like you're initiating uh it doesn't look like you're even in, sitting in a position of receiving other offers as well you're reevaluating what you want what you can give where you're going Okay, you've got the death card there, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> so, looks like you're, you know, denying this relationship at this time. You're letting things kind of transition out, transforming, ending a cycle here. So, if you were, if the connection that you were in was with someone that really just, like I said, couldn't deliver on their promises or their desires it looks like at this time you're like okay i see i know what i need to do and perhaps putting an ending to something while also contemplating how you can be in a position of success how you can make progress you know i don't see you hating or anything like that i see you just being as this person indulging in yourself focusing on what you need to do for yourself maybe you're looking at your money looking at your career looking at where you live reassessing things um all kinds of energies here let me have a clarifying card for the death card please okay yeah so you're you're ending something to kind of bring things back into balance perhaps letting this person go this is sagittarius energy um so you can find a place of sensibility <laughs> be a bit more sensible figure out what your purpose is um so that you guys maybe can be in harmony um uh, it just kind of feels like letting the dust settle and and letting spirit work the magic that 
it was intended to work from the beginning. You're kind of like just releasing and pulling back a bit here and figuring to yourself, it looks like, you know, I'm just going to let everything be. Just going to let it be so I can just whatever's meant to be will be. And I always feel like with temperance, it always gives me an energy of like that's the angel, you know, um, in the background making things happen, concocting the plan. You know, universe is always conspiring to give you what you want. So uh, taking your thinking about maybe Virgo taking your hands off the wheel here <laughs> and just letting like let Jesus take the wheel, but just letting things be for now. One more card for temperance. So you could have a connection with a such. Yeah. So there's definitely separation. Okay. Yes. So did you break up or are you breaking up with this person? Perhaps letting them go. Maybe you're the initiator of this because something's not working or if there if this person ended something with you well your person you're allowing it to happen and not fighting for it and just kind of saying to yourself well if we're meant to be together then you know either this person's going to follow through or not you know I, I feel like you're really not making this a priority at this time I feel like you're with the self-indulgence card more so making yourself a priority what you need to do for yourself Let's see what your feelings are towards this person, towards your person. Okay. I left you before you could leave me. Some of you ended the relationship first. Oops. Oops. Let me try again. <laughs> A whole bunch of cards fell out. Okay, I hide behind material things. So you might be doing that now, Virgo. You just kind of pulled away and you're like, you know what? Let me focus on my money. Let me focus on my work. All the things I need to do for myself. My hair. All, all the material, practical things in life. No, no, yeah. Although you feel like this person came closer than anyone has ever come close to you. You want to feel that way again as far as the love goes. may not necessarily be with them could be but you would like to feel happy again perhaps how it was in the beginning and you can feel this person even though you're apart so the energy is still here you know but it feels like virgo you love this person they love you but there was some incompatibility or some issues it feels like that really were not working and Despite the chemistry and the emotions toward one another, if there isn't, if there's like some kind of a lack of compatibility, even with the Six of Swords, some of you, it might have been a long distance thing. What are there was a travel issue for some, not all, but whatever, like for some, you could have just been, I don't know, an hour away from each other. Um, but whatever the case, you're not, ch you're not doing the chase. That's what I feel. And you're not expecting this person to chase you either. You just, it looks like you want this person to reflect and figure out what they want. So you can do the same. You know, you're definitely seeking stability. And I feel like this person is too, for both of you, the relationship can stand the test of time. But like I said, when I go into the extended, we're going to see like what they're going to do. Because I do see a lot of desire on their part to have you in their life still. But we need to go a little more in depth to see like to what degree now let me just get a couple of chinese signs so we could see the person's sign that you are dealing with here what this person's chinese sign is okay they could be a year of the pig year of the snake they could be a year of the dragon Year of the Ox, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Horse, Year of the Monkey. We have a horse, so double horses. 
year of the rabbit now if that is not their sign it doesn't mean it's not your reading this reading will still be for you and them if it resonates for you okay let me take a look and see just want to get actually i'm gonna do some messages of love here Let's see what the messages of love here Okay, fate. So this is a destined partnership. Yes. So separation doesn't always mean it's forever. It could be a temp temporary separation until you guys figure some stuff out here. Patience. Everything will divulge and will unfold in divine timing. And that is Sagittarius, um, the Temperance card. That's an energy of divine timing. And so. For some of you, there's this rejection is actually divine protection. And if you were rejected or they or you rejected them, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, the chicken or the egg, really. You guys obviously are just not together. And there's a reason for this at this time. Okay. So it looks like someone in this connection is unavailable to give all that the other deserves and that's what i was saying that's that's part of the reason for this breakup and that's part of the reason for the self-reflection self-indulgence definitely this this relate this relationship looks like it could move toward a sacred union it has great potential for that or marriage um but there's denial here and this is the part of the attachment taking time away to clearly figure out to see the truth and to clearly figure out what what the situation is and how to either resolve it or be done with it this love is emotional physical and unconditional so this is your true love your person is your true love okay Wow, Virgo. Very interesting. I am curious to see, though, what they will do, what the outcome is going to be. Okay, let's see. So you have personal riches, Virgo. Small successes are likely now, and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes. <laughs> get-rich-quick schemes. <laughs> okay reinvent yourself Virgo if you've been trying to figure out what to do with your career or something a transformation is taking place enjoy a new lease of life Re and if that's about your career or about your just who you are right now improving yourself in ways stay focused on that reinventing yourself making yourself better in all the ways you need to this person's kind of doing the same. You are going through some di difficult times. There are some emotional upheavals coming, um, but these might be part of your growth process and how you try to understand. Transition, move forward. You do have love, love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. I'm gonna segue from that because I really feel like this is what's on the table now like the full like forever happily ever after kind of thing with someone with your person and i feel like this is an energy of like okay it's the new season spring is here moving something to the next level and so yeah i will segue into that to see in the extended reading if that's something that's actually Maybe to give you some clarity and insight if that's going to go forward for you. Um, okay, let's get some. All right, you have Pisces here. We have September 9th. I feel like I said that already, didn't I? Um, someone is 43. We have August 31st, September 17th, September 21st. Someone is 56. We have the letter E and the letter S for initials. Okay, so, all right, someone's name, um, someone's Jess, Jess, Jessica, Jess or Jessie. Oh shit, Jessie. 
oh my god i can't even believe that <laughs> i was trying to figure out um one of the fitness trainers at my gym i knew him years ago and i saw him the other day and i and we were like smiling at each other but he couldn't remember his name he's like hey kelly i'm like hi <laughs> you <laughs> his name's jesse i couldn't which was racking my brain for like three days trying to what is his name i didn't want to ask anybody i was like what is his name what is his name and there it is you just gave it to me i said if i just leave it alone it'll come his name is jesse there you go okay Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for helping me that, helping me with that. I kept saying Jamie. I don't know. Someone is 32. 1983. Someone is 53. <laughs> I can't even believe how that just happened. I swear, Spirit talks to me all the time. Okay, we have the letter D, letter Z, the letter A. We have E, Edie, Eddie. Again, Jake. I'm hearing Jade. And the letter O. Someone's a doctor or a physician or works in medical. Jed. Okay. And as you can see, the glasses just fell out. So <laughs> somebody needs to get a new pair of glasses or you, maybe you lost your glasses. If you wear glasses, you're trying to find them or you just need to like get a new lens in your glasses or clear your lens so you can see better and that's very symbolic of you know this situation here trying to get some clarity through vision or your your visions your dreams what you're thinking what you're trying to understand okay hold on i got a couple more things here wow right in the right there i just picked up three keys three keys hmm that's significant for someone something to do with three keys um okay so there will be an exchange of keys i just heard not sure what that means that could be maybe you're buying a house or you're selling um or there's two keys to a place something along those lines if there's kind of like sharing a place together and then uh, this key this this honestly as soon as i saw this it gave me mickey mouse vibes so i don't know if that's a connection to florida or somewhere in california like disney and there's also a lotus flower here okay so a lotus flower is significant for someone also um yeah so that was kind of short right but i'm going to go over to the extended because i want to see how this whole scenario is going to play out if you guys are actually going to work things out you're going to get things sorted out between you figure out what you're if you're going to go forward together or if you're just going to go off on your own we'll take a look and see what this person's going to do what their actions are going to be taken towards you what the outcome will be all of that so the link will be in the description box below this video to um, purchase that extended reading it's only eleven dollars and eleven cents so if you're curious and you want to know more just go on over to that link if unless you just wanted to see how this person feels about you or what's happening that right this right here is for you now that's free all right you guys so have a fantastic evening and i will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend reading okay all right take care bye Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.